They call New Mexico the land of enchantment and for good reason. Today we're in the high desert city of Albuquerque, one of the great cities here in the American Southwest. And for the past 18 years, host to one of the best bowl games in college football. Today, just three hours from Las Cruces, the Aggies of New Mexico State are in this bowl game for the first time and winners of 10 games for just the second time in program history, facing the 8-4 Bulldogs of Fresno State. He was just going to go out there and get hit. Doesn't worry about it. Kylan Young went in motion, but it's Pavia again. He's going to run for a first down and more out to midfield. Diego Pavia. New Mexico State losing a couple of wide receivers to the transfer portal. And now getting pressured is Pavia, and he's going to be sacked. Dumped at the 37 yard line by Jacob Holmes. Yeah, it looks like we've got a kicker coming in. But on that third down, Pavia was looking for the slant. But there was a great job done by him. Talented wide receiver Eric Brooks standing inside the 10 yard line for the Bulldogs. Haynes will try to pin him inside the 10. Catching it on the run is Brooks, finds room, gets along the sideline to the 35 40, still on his feet. Across midfield, Eric Brooks heading toward the end zone. He'll get there, but there is a flag back at the 40 yard line of Fresno State. Tepford, the quarterback whisperer, he called him. He's right. Looking to throw here on second down and eight. Yes, sir. He's going to take a deep shot for Moss. There's Jalen Moss down at the 20-yard line of New Mexico State. Big play. And you want to talk about your quarterback giving your receiver a chance. Watch the accuracy in the pin. As they're backed up on second and 22. Backpedaling. Pavi is going to go down the seam, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 41-yard line by Dean Clark, the Kent State transfer. And now the Bulldogs have it back in great field position. Just a, just a misread here by Pavi. Take a look. He's looking down the middle of the field. Two split safety. He doesn't quite realize that these guys are back there. The ball gets tipped. Linebackers dropping, get a hand on it in Fresno State which is really trying to find its identity again defensively. And he wants to throw it again. Pumps going toward the end zone and Freeman again. What a catch. Did he stay in bounds? He did. Josiah Freeman, two great plays in succession. And the first touchdown of the day belongs to the Bulldogs. His poise, his accuracy, his anticipation were on display. Puts this ball right where he knows his guy, Freeman, at six foot three. Here they go on second and eight. Jamonte Watkins, the former track star and transfer from TCU, trying to get to the edge. Wow. Still on his feet and powers his way to the 20 yard line. Amante Watkins, 5'11, 195, but playing a lot bigger. Well, set up for 45 yards. Kick on the way, and it is good. Yeah, defensive holding. I think I might have mentioned pass interference, but it was holding. Mikey Keene, 12 for 12, passing, goes to the end zone, a laser. Caught by Jalen Gill for a touchdown. How about Mikey Keene? He can't miss. 23-yard hookup for the score. Mikey Keene with 7.02 to go here in the first half. Has looked impressive in the 2023 Isleta New Mexico Bowl. New Mexico State showing pressure. Here they come. They're picked up. Lobbing it. And it is intercepted. Picked off in the end zone. Makai Miller. Draw play. Here's Sherrod. All kinds of real estate right up the middle. Four receivers. Two to either side here for the Bulldogs. Last play of the first half. And they get it to Brooks. Gets free. Gets to the 10-yard line, but not quite far enough as the first half comes to an end. Crowd coming alive. On third and ten, backpedaling is Keen. Got it off short to Sherrod. Slips a tackle, cuts it ahead for a first down and more. Slipped another tackle at the 40, and he gets to the Aggies' side of the field. What an individual effort by Malik Sherrod. Now Sherrod showing off the legs again. Big hole on the left side. 
to the 10 yard line Malik Sherrod finally tackled from behind by Torin Union just got a tremendous lock just watch the way they wash everyone out to the left side trying to make this 20 to 3 and he does 49 yards he's been picked off once they fake the jet sweep now Pavia trying to run ahead this is the 15. Four and a half minutes to go here, third quarter. Pavia fakes the handoff, keeps it, slips away, and spins into the end zone. What a play for Pavia. That's who you trust. Touchdown, New Mexico State. Do I have a chip on my shoulder? But guys, get on my shoulders. I'm ready to carry us back into this game, and he did. The seventh rushing touchdown of the year. Diego Pavia. He plays against him. Ask Boise State about not recruiting him. He goes out to the flat. They'll come to the near side for Jalen Moss. He's got a big hole after the catch, and he runs it down the hash top freshman receivers in the Mountain West this year. Yeah, perfect screen for him for the young man out of Menlo Atherton High School in East Palo Alto. Got great blocks from his running mates and wide receivers. This doesn't happen if your receivers don't block. And they did a great... It's been a lot of run plays here in the second half for Fresno State. Trying to shorten the game now. Throwing go again is Keen, and he's on time and on target. Trey Watson, the tight end, first down, goal to go, Fresno State. Moving with tempo, Keen, naked boot, trying to win the race to the end zone, and he did, he gets in. But there's a flag down, in fact, a couple of them on the field. Why not? Head coach, your first time, first game, your quarterback who doesn't normally Run the ball, finds a way to get into the end zone to put you up by potentially 17 points. They had been slumping five for their last 22 coming into the game. Gilliam makes a man miss. Good run, Elijah Gilliam. First down and more to the 25-yard line of New Mexico State. Made a couple guys miss. I mean, just sort of right off the top. A little stutter step. No, you can't get me. You can't get me. And he's off to the races. He's been their third down specialist tonight. Two carries, both for first downs. To make it a 20-point game. And he does. Dylan Lynch has been solid tonight. And number one running back this year, of course, Mims was the MVP of their bowl victories the last two years. And Sherrod has had a great bowl game. To the end zone, looking for Moss. And he got it. Jalen Moss with the nine-yard touchdown reception. For Keen. And he's made throw after throw down here. And this is simple. Got hurt. Didn't play the fourth quarter, half of the third quarter against Liberty. Missed some practice time. And he's going to be tracked down again by Phoenix Jackson. And that is going to be a turnover on downs. Do you admire the spirit of trying to pick up the fourth down and never quitting and instead of punting the ball here? But, you know, this does set up a short field for another score. And <laughs> he has no idea what's coming. He's not yeah, used to this. Yeah, this is this is poor execution. You got to have somebody grab the head coach and give him a hug. That's going to do it. <laughs> Who's going to be the guy? Who's going to give him the hug? There no, he got him anyway. <laughs> Tim Skipper with his first win as a head coach.